I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing, that it was all started by a mouse. What's up? I am just now leaving Sarasota, which I'm about an hour behind, so making this quick. Going to Animal Kingdom for a little bit and going to Hollywood Studios to say bye to here on Baymax and a few of the other Disney characters that are in the magic of Disney Animation Building because that closes on Sunday for who knows how long and who knows if they'll even open it as what it was. So, see you in Orlando. A little bit of a fun fact here. This is Florida uh, Polytechnical University. Very rarely do you ever see the roof up like it is right now. But anytime that I come to Orlando, it's always up like that. I don't know why, but it is. So, I've arrived to Animal Kingdom. You can see them way over there. They're working on Avatar Land which who knows how long that's going to take. You can see the tip of Expedition Everest over there. Now this is something that's very rare, is they actually have the trams running at Animal Kingdom. You hardly ever see that. Half the time when I come here, I walk to the entrance. I mean, I'm in Dinosaur. Normally I park in like Unicorn or something like that, but they're busy today, or it could just be the time that I get here. Normally I get here early, but yeah, in we go. So I just got to Animal Kingdom, and I'm not even in the park yet. The entrance is over there. And look who I found. It's Briar Rabbit from Splash Mountain and Song of the South, because a lot of people don't know what Song of the South is. Okay, I'm going to meet him now. <laughs> It's apparently been a long time since I was in Animal Kingdom because they have this store closed off and they're working on it. It is once again time for me to face the Yeti. But the wonderful part about facing the Yeti when you're here on your own, there's the mountain. Expedition Everest is the one ride at this park that has a single rider's line. And aka my home away from home when I'm alone. Right. We've officially made it to Hollywood Studios. Going to Tower of Terror now. We're gonna have some fun. So we made it off of Tower of Terror. Uh, it's good. I was surprised because normally whenever I ride it, we go down first. This time we went up. Hey Max had fun. Um, we are now going over to Frozen Sing Along because I have a fast pass for 205 to 220. I don't want to get stuck in the back, so catch up with you later. So we're at the Frozen uh, Sing Along and I found my friend Bailey. Um, it's the first time I'm seeing it in the new location, so let's see how this thing is. Uh -huh. Oh, and she has weird icy snow powers. Ice. Anyone? Great. Elsa. Oh, oh wait. Elsa, do you want to build a snowman? Yeah, that never really works. Um, I'm so sorry. I didn't catch your name. Your Highness, I am Eric. Eric? And I'm Aria. But it's their sister. I am a big fan of yours. I've been waiting a long time for this, and this is finally happening. <laughs> I am never going to wash this hand again. Oh, um, <laughs> flattering. <laughs> Hi. You smell like chocolate. <laughs> and, um, awkward. But with you.
the name of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> well, Elsa couldn't come back. Now everyone knew of her icy powers. I see the problem. <laughs> Trusted her. Are you done? Chill. <laughs> well, our queen was alone. Ooh. And she was lost. Ooh. But for the first time in her life, ooh, she felt truly free. There we go. Knock, knock. Oh, who's there? Nicole. Nicole who? Nicole never bothered me anyway. <laughs> Actually, a good thing because there's a lot more snow in this store. All right. What is that music? <laughs> <laughs> like Woo! I His name is... Oh, yes, of course! His name is... Yes, yes, yes! His name Good. is... Yeah. His uh -huh. name is Clip Clop! <laughs> no, it's, it's Kristoff. Yes. Hi! Hello! Hi! <laughs> so nice to meet you, Flip Flop. <laughs> Where's your reindeer Sven? Oh, well, Sven found himself some carrots, but that's beside the point. You know, I kind of helped out. A lot. A lot? <laughs> <laughs> he said I kind of helped out a lot! He said I kind of helped out a lot! Oh, um, sorry. It's just that if we recall correctly, you didn't want to help out in the first place. Well, of course I wanted to help out. I couldn't sell ice in a blizzard. Besides, Princess Anna would have never made it to the North Mountain without my help. Duh. Not, Not to mention. mention. You, you lied to her. You thought she was pretty. You, you liked her braids and her eyes and the freckles on her face. What? <laughs> All right, she was interesting, that's for sure. Not as interesting as reindeer. Who are you, Santa? Do you know Dasha and Dancer? Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. That's like reindeer rap. <laughs> Raise the hook. All right, so what? So a reindeer is my best friend. There's nothing wrong with that. It, just get the story right. <laughs> okay. Princess Anna meets a rugged and fearless ice harvester. Kristoff, uh -huh. whose cunning bravery helps her get to the top of the North Mountain. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you sleep through all of Arendelle History 101? <gasps> yes. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think he's kind of dreamy too. Why Woo! don't you ever call me dreamy? <laughs> because you dress like an elf. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, what is this one? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Do you want to give him a fist bump too? Yeah. 
Ba-la-la-la. I'm trying to teach him more things, so maybe like a high five. And stuff. He knows it. He knows a little bit. Do you know how to do high five? Like, can you go and really hit his high? Like, can, like hit me. Like, give me high five. Oh. How about you, Maymax? He's very high. Yeah, high very high. high. You give him a hug? Yes. So I heard you guys are going back to San Francisco. Yeah, for now. Hopefully we'll be back though, because there's, like, there's really a frozen snow so much between here and San Francisco, so yeah. it's a big mess. Tell Aunt Cass that I want to come by her restaurant. You get hot wings. Yes. I'm not big on hot wings, but, but I want to try her donuts. Her donuts? Yeah. I mean, donuts, I mean, they nice to make donuts too. Hey buddy, but really, really big, big donuts. Cause yeah, you have really big, big donuts. Buddy. Big donuts work. Oh, oh yeah, that too. We can eat all of it. Yeah. I think we can eat all of it. We can share all together, right, buddy? We're sharing so we yeah. go with friends and family. We might have to bring your friends over, right. but and all that too, buddy. Yeah. I mean, I think we'll all have that too. <laughs> <laughs> Could you? Um, that's actually recording. Can you take a photo with my phone? Now? Sure. <laughs> Awesome. Right over here. Big smiles. You go. Awesome. officially said my goodbyes to the magic of animation. I am now going to, because I've heard this rumor, don't know any dates. I knew the date of when they were closing um, the magic of animation, but I don't know when they're closing One Man's Dream, uh, which I think out of anything that Disney's closing, that's the most irritating because it's the only thing that focuses on Walt. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. I just left the film for One Man's Dream. I got teary-eyed. There was a girl behind me that got teary-eyed. We both started talking about how we wish they weren't getting rid of it, and they really shouldn't. I don't know what Disney's thinking getting rid of that, because how are the future generations supposed to learn about the man behind all of this? It just kind of defeats the purpose of trying to keep his memory alive. They're going to get rid of one of the only things that keeps his memory alive. So for now, I'm signing off. I'm going home. See you again soon.